Hello friends, uh, this is a short tutorial on uh, Thinkorswim and today's topic is how to fix that horizontal line that uh, is so annoying when uh, you double click on it and it only draws the horizontal line from where the cursor is to the right side of the screen. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. I'm going to click one time on the price level icon at the top. I have a shortcut over there. And uh, in case you don't have a shortcut, another way to get to that shortcut is to click on the drawing tools and go back again to the drawing tools and choose this dollar sign icon with an underscore under it. That's the same thing. So to draw a horizontal line, normally what we would do is we would simply double click on uh, the chart and notice that uh, it, it simply draws the line from, from, from the point where I, I double click all the way to the right and that's not very helpful. So we're going to fix that. Uh, the way to fix that is uh, really simple. We're just going to manipulate the settings for that horizontal line and we're going to set some uh, some defaults. Well, I am going to start by clearing my screen. There is one way to do it. I can right click and uh, remove or uh, clear drawing set or I can delete them one by one. I'm simply right clicking on the horizontal line itself and uh, click on remove drawing. That's the uh, one way to do it. Another way to do it is to simply just right click on anywhere on the chat, clear drawing set and say yes to the dialog that comes up. That will clear everything. So let's begin. First, we are going to draw a horizontal line and I already have my price uh, level tool selected. I'm going to draw that line and then I'm going to change my cursor to a pointer. This, that's this uh, pointer, I guess, uh, right here, this pointer icon. And then I am going to right click on the horizontal line that I just created. I'm going to edit properties. I'm going to change a few things. By default, this is how it looks like. You don't show the, it doesn't show the price and the left extension is off. Those are the two things that we want to change. Actually, three things uh, that's, uh, that we want to change. To extend the line from left to right or full width, I'm simply going to set that to on. I'm also going to change the show price from do not show. I prefer mine on the right side so that I can see it on the right axis. And one more thing, I am also going to change the color of that horizontal line so that it contrasts with my theme. Right now I have a white background theme and I like mine a little darker than that. So let's go ahead and click on that uh, color. I'm going to click on more and I'm going to choose the darkest blue that I can find. I think this is uh, dark enough. I'm just going to click on OK. Now before I click on OK over here, if I just click OK, that's that's a temporary uh, change. Instead, I want to save as default. This is the key. I want to s make those changes that I that I, uh, I just updated to be the default. So I'm just click one time. It says current drawing sets will be applied for this drawing as the default and all others. So I have clicked on the default uh, on that button. Then I'm going to click on OK. Now let's see the difference. The difference now is that I have a price line that extends both sides to the right and to the left. Here's another trick for you. If you're using Think or Swim and you would like to make your horizontal lines uh, at the exact point that you want, uh, what do I mean? Uh, I want them at uh, either the top of the week or the body, uh, top or bottom or bottom of the week. There is a way to do that. And it's very, very helpful, especially if you're using those numbers to calculate something. So I'm going to click on price level and I'm going to choose an arbitrary candle. Let's choose this one. I want to draw a horizontal line at the top of the wick, exactly at the top. So I'm just going to point to it. The key is to point to it. And notice that this candle darkens. There's a, there's a background that, that uh, appears once, once I hover over the candle. So I'm just simply going to point at the top and I'm going to double click Okay, and that gives me a line at exactly 296.90. I'm going to practice again on this candle. I'm going to draw a horizontal line at the top of the base of the body, all right, top of the body. So I'm simply going to point to it and I'm going to double click. Some people might find this a little difficult to do. That double clicking action is actually very sensitive. And I have found that it is 
easy to simply click one and two. Just do it as slow as you as, as you need to. You don't have to be really quick to double click. Just simply click one and two. All right, let's try that again. One and two. How about that? Okay, one and two. That's as easy as it gets. To clear all these lines that I just drew, I simply I can do it from, from two ways. I can do it while I still have the price level selected. Simply right click on the chart, clear drawing set, say yes to the dialog that comes up, bada beam, bada boom, all horizontal lines are gone. Every once in a while, I need to draw a, horizontal, a vertical line as well. One that extends from the top to the bottom of the screen. How do I do that? I'm simply going to go to the drawing tools, drawing tools dialog, and I'm going to choose the trend line. I want to choose a trend line. So maybe I want to look at data from October the 4th. And so I'm going to choose that candle right here. So I will simply click one time, uh, maybe twice. How about that? And draw a trend line straight as I can and click the second point. And notice that it draws my trend line from top to bottom. I can also draw a trend line in any direction. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be top to bottom. It can be any shape. Maybe I'm just trying to get an average or something like that. So that is how you can draw a trend line. Uh, you notice that my trend lines by default are going uh, that are extending left to right or top to bottom. Well, that's not how it comes by default. Let me show you again. I'm just simply going to right click on that trend line, edit properties, and I'm going to change my uh, left extension to on. By default, it is off. So if you'd like uh, your trend lines to extend from one end to the other, this is where you come and do it. Okay, and then remember to change the colors as you need it, maybe even the thickness, the width of the, of the line, so you can see it a little better. Or if you want to make it dashed, apply some styling to it. Uh, and then remember to save as default. That is the key. Always save as default. So I'm simply going to right click anywhere on the screen, clear my drawing set. Now I have my new blank palette. So right now I'm looking at a chart of a stock that is uh, seems to be dropping and your homework is to complete this chat by drawing the buyer and the seller levels or the support and resistance levels. Thanks for watching.